Hi there, Ken Foreman here. Do you recognize this fruit? That's quite a fruit, isn't it? Sadly, it's not edible. There's a lot of stuff here. I've heard many people call these hedge apples. I've even heard some people call them horse apples. I want to tell you about what these really are and how they may have gotten those names. First of all, let's clear something up. Horse apples are what comes out of the back end of a horse. Uh, I'm not sure how it gets associated with these things here other than it starts with an H for hedge apple. Hedge apple is a little bit more appropriate. We'll talk about that in just a bit. A better name for this is Osage Orange. Now, why they call this an Osage Orange, I'll never know. Uh, I mean, I guess it because it looks somewhat orange-like, and it, but it's green. And it never turns orange, so they should call it an Osage Green, I suppose. So how about an even better name for this? the original name that, that Europeans gave it to, gave to this. They called this the Bodark fruit. It comes from the Bodark tree. This is a Bodark tree right here. Bodark trees are found all throughout the Ozarks and they're found throughout many parts of Arkansas, in fact. Bodarks are an important tree in history and a very important tree to the Native Americans that used to live here an important tree to the settlers that, that moved into the area, the European settlers that moved here, and an important tree to wildlife too. So let's talk a little bit about this fruit. You may have noticed that no, nothing's been chewing on this fruit. Not a lot of things will eat this. Sometimes squirrels will break into these and eat them. Um, sometimes white-tailed deer will knock them open and eat them if they're really desperate, if it's been a hard winter. But not a lot of things eat these. The reason they're not really edible is that they have a high latex concentration inside them. Latex, if you've ever heard of that before, it's, it's natural rubber, often found in rubber trees, which is the primary source for natural latex. But latex is found in lots of different things, and bodark fruit is one of them. So let's talk a little bit about this bodark tree. This is an important tree. First of all, let's get the name out of the way, bodark. B-O-I-S space D apostrophe A-R-C Bodark, not B-O-D-A-R-C-K B-O-I-S space D apostrophe A-R-C Bodark. It's a French word. It's a French word that means bent wood. Well, take a look at this. The Bodark tree that I'm, st was, I'm standing underneath and you can see how many of the limbs are bent. Well, bodark is the French word for bent limb. Eh, that makes a lot of sense then. It should be called a bodark tree. It's a bent limb tree. But that bendability, that flexibility of these, this wood means it's a very useful wood. Native Americans would use the wood from this tree to make their bows. The, the wood is naturally springy, that bowed limb, that bent wood, that bodark. Very springy, makes really, really good bows. And in fact, bow makers today, people who, bowyers, as they're often called, people who hand make wooden bows will use bodark wood to make their bows. Also, the natives would often use this wood for their, for their homes. And what they would do is they would take part of the, one of the branches and they would stick it in the ground and then bend it in an arc. Stick the other end of the ground and make a, an arch like that. And you put a whole bunch of those arches together and cover them all up with some sort of material like a uh, bison hide or, or some sort of natural material like uh, cedar branches. And you can make a, a home and it's a way to, to live, be outside of the environment. So the Bodark tree provided Native Americans with their food. And it provided Native Americans with their home. And you remember the latex that's in the Bodark fruit? This could be used to waterproof moccasins, other clothing and boats too. So, very useful tree to the natives. So why would they call this a hedge apple? Well, this tree was very useful to European settlers that moved into the Ozarks too. One thing that is, you can see behind me on some of these limbs is that this tree has thorns on it. Now, they're not big thorns, they're small thorns, but it definitely has thorns. So it was very common practice for European settlers to 
plant a few of these bodark saplings in their yard and then bend the limbs over and stick them in the ground and they would continue to root up and so they would have a hedge. And that hedge would be made with thorns, which made a pretty substantial fence, a living hedge, a living fence. And it produced fruit, the hedge apple. So next time you're out hiking, look for bent wood trees. There's one more thing to look for on these bent wood trees. And maybe this is where the Osage orange comes from. You tell me what you think. Take a look at the wood and what's underneath the bark can sometimes take on an orange hue like that. And like that. So maybe that is where the Bodark, the Osage Orange, gets its name from. Be outside.